Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Here we go. This is In Case You Missed Psychology 1 for April 8th, 2021. And if you're watching this, I'm going to assume that you didn't make it to class today. It's not that you want to see this gorgeous mug. You need the info that you missed out on. Well, hey, first of all, if you missed class today, that's okay. I hope you're well. Hope those around you are well. And based on what it's doing outside, I hope you dodged all the raindrops. Blech. So I'm going to run you guys through everything we did today, hit all the big major points. Today's video is going to be kind of short because we went through a, a few big ideas, okay? But um, kind of try to keep it short and give you guys some time to work on your work today. So if you have any time left after you get done watching this video, for me today, um, you could keep working on your what is psychology assignment. It's due Monday at midnight. So um, some quick reminders that that work is due Monday by midnight. Make sure you're doing a good job on it. Make sure you're answering things in complete sentences that start with capital letters and end with some kind of punctuation. Make sure that you're avoiding starting answers with pronouns. Okay, I, you, he, she, it, we, they, unless it's an opinion-based question. And then you can say, I think that, okay? Um, be complete in your answers. Make sure that you're answering every part of every question. And use some examples, put some thought into some things, make some comparisons. If you really want to do well, if you really want those threes and fours, it's about showing me that you understand the concepts, okay? Um, now, by the end of class today, what we're going to do is we're going to identify the outcomes of this chapter, like what I want you to be able to do by the end of chapter one of psych one. And then we're also going to define psychology. Um, like I said, anytime you have left after that is work time. And as always, my young future leaders of America um, and, and the world for all I know. Sorry about that. Um, if you have any questions, I'm here via the internet, via email and chat, video chat, and I'm also here via text message. You have my phone number on the class rules. So let's get after it, all right? So first of all, if you if you are a note taker, and you should be in this class because we are gonna take tests, and you are gonna be allowed to use your notes, this is probably where you wanna start writing some things down, okay? To this point, we haven't had to write anything in a notebook, we haven't had to crack a notebook, we haven't had to start a doc called psychology notes. But here we go. All right, so in unit one, we're going to look at the field of psychology. Benedict Cumberbatch is Sherlock Holmes thinking really hard about something, trying to enter his mind palace to solve a crime. If you have not seen the British Broadcasting Corporation's version of Sherlock with um, Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman, if you like mystery, if you like crime-based stuff, if you like Benedict Cumberbatch, otherwise known as Dr. Strange, you have got to find that. I don't know if it's still on Netflix or whatever, but it is absolutely incredible. Um, each episode's like an hour and a half long, so they're basically like little mini movies. They are amazing. Okay, so the unit, uh, the unit is really going to look at a lot of different things. And what I try to do with each unit in psychology is I try to give you an objective slide. Uh, at the end of the chapter, if you can do this, you are probably going to be successful on test day. Okay. And we kind of try to knock out like an objective a day. Sometimes we hit two, depending on like how big they are. Um, I can tell you that we've got Thursday and Friday left this week, and we're going to hit objective one, and we're going to hit objective two this week. Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're going to define psychology. Okay. And we're going to describe the work that psychologists do. So we're going to kind of hit that first part of that one today, and then we're going to kind of hit the rest of it as, as we go through the entire unit. That's kind of a, that's a big idea one. Okay. Um, now, the one thing I'm a little picky about on this one is I really do like it if I'm a big fan of like learn definitions that make sense to you, like put them in your own words. All right. Find, find a way to make it stick. This is going to be one of the times this year where I'm going to be looking at you guys going, I want you to mem I want you to memorize this definition, be a robot, memorize the words, spit them back like a robot. When I say define psychology, you say psychology is the scientific study of there you go. All right. Uh, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to explain why psychology is a science. Now, listen, um, Mackenzie asked a great question in class. How come this is a social studies class? It's a social studies class because it's a study of how people interact. Um, it, it looks at how the individual does things, but how people interact with each other, how they interact in groups, how they interact within society to make the world a better or a worse place. Um, but realistically, there is a big aspect of psychology that is science. It's, it's, it's a neuroscience. We're looking at the brain. We're looking at how it works. We're looking at how it affects behavior. We're talking about how hormones affect things, about how a thing called homeostasis, your ability to keep your body at, like it's 
comfort level impacts your ability to do, think, and behave in ways that you can and want to, okay? The third thing that we're going to do is we're going to identify some of the work that psychologists do. Now, I, I kind of overlapped that one there, um, but um, we're going to talk about different jobs you can do in psychology. Sometimes people don't even realize that some of the things psychologists do are jobs. Like, for instance, when I had you guys describe a psychologist's office, you all, oh, yours were so sterile, by the way. It made me sad. Um you guys talked about like a boring room with degrees on the wall and a desk and maybe a couch. And I'm like, wow, man, uh, you guys didn't go very elaborate. You guys, you guys don't watch movies and TV shows with, with nice psychologist offices. Apparently. Um, I want you guys to be able to give an example of and describe the seven approaches. We're going to talk about seven problem solving methods that psychologists use, uh, to understand human behavior and predict and explain different kinds of behavior. And, and I think that's the most complicated part of the unit. Um, because we're definitely introducing some words that you guys have never heard before when we talk about those things. And last but not least, one of the probably the biggest walk away from this is I want you guys to start understanding how psychologists think critically, that they do use a scientific method, that there it isn't just guesses about behavior and you're telling me about your week and they sit and go, mm hmm, mm hmm, how did that make you feel? All right, there's a lot more to psychology than that, okay? All right, so this next slide is going to go into what you and 19 other years of Psychology One students think psychology is. Now, I've been teaching here for 24 years, but for the last 20 years, we have done kind of a similar version of that group activity warm-up brainstorming thing that we did on Tuesday where I asked you to tell me what psychology was, what's in a psychologist's office, what are some jobs psychologists do. Now, what I've done over the years is I've written down every definition that every class has ever given. And that is now somewhere in the vicinity in the last 20 years of about 43, 44 Psychology One classes. Pretty cool. Um, and, and so this is a combo of the definitions. Now, obviously, I think you guys have worked with things like Wordle's word maps, okay? The more commonly a word comes up, the larger the word is on a word map. And so I added the psychology is. Now you guys are very, very smart because you know that if a word ends in ology, that means it's the study of. Well, it, it doesn't take words like of or the. And so boom, huge study. But um okay, so when you look at the other words, there's three or four that stick out to me. There's there's a lot of interesting ones. I see human in there, persons, humans, people. So you guys all think psychology's people, people only. That, that's not right. But, I mean, that's okay. That's probably what I would think too. I've got environment. I've got studying. Interacts. Good word. Mental. Understanding. Illness. Reacts. Um, in, you know, actions, science. Okay. All right. But the, but the big stick out words are brain and mind. Now, realistically, are those the same thing? We could debate that a little bit if we wanted to. You've got behavior, you've got works, and you've got way over there. So if we, we look at what you guys have done, psychology is the study of the brain and maybe can I, the, the way the brain works and the way people, the way people behave, huh? Maybe, kind of, that's not bad. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. All right. I'm not going to lie. The last 20 years of psych students, you, you, yeah, you're there. You're there. You made a good first, first guess. Maybe I hinted too much. Okay. So here we go. What is it? Okay. By definition, psychology is a scientific study of, <laughs> way to go. We know what ology means. Cognition and behavior. Dang it. I hate it when that happens. When they put a word in a definition that you don't know what it means. It's so dirty. When I was a kid, they would go, you, you'd ask a teacher what a word meant, and they'd be like, there's this book with words in it that tells you what the words mean. I was like, oh, God. We had a whole like bookcase full of dictionaries. And you have to go back and get a dictionary. And I always hated that I'd open the dictionary to look up a word. There'd always be another word that I had to look up. And then I'd look up that word and then I'd look up another word. And I was like, fine, I don't care what the word means anymore. So 
I want to cover this little by little here. So sci psychology is a scientific study. We all, we all know what that is. Way to go. Yay. Your, your little kid teachers did a great job. Cognition. Cognition means thinking. It's just another, it's a fancy word for thinking, but hey, we're, 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 we're adults. We're going to be fancy. Okay. And it doesn't matter how simple that thinking is or how complex that thinking is. Any thinking is cognition. Two plus two, what's your address? What's your phone number? What's your mom's cell phone number? What's your dad's cell phone number? What did you eat for dinner last night? E equals MC squared. What does the C stand for? Uh, what's the square root of 49? Uh, what is uh, the, the formula for work in physics? Okay, I think, or force. I don't remember. I think there's a formula for work. I don't remember. Work equals zero. Anyway, um, but anything you do that, that is, is mentally based. So, yeah, like the brain, the mind, but more specifically thinking. Okay, behavior. The word behavior. I, I know what that means. Define it. The stuff you do. Yeah, okay. Anything an organism does. Whoa, wah, wah, wah. Organism, not just people. Anything living. There's amoeba psychology. There's cat psychology. Dog psychology. Worm psychology. All right? We can study the behavior of anything that lives. Now, we're not going to do chair psychology. Why is the chair sitting? Is it sad? Is it happy? What is the chair thinking? How do we know it's a chair? No, no, no one is trying to stop a chair's depression because your butt hits it all day long. But we can't figure out why your dog's so hyper or why your cat's anxious or why your snake refuses to eat or why that amoeba goes over that way in the Petri dish and not that way. We can try and figure those things out. Okay. And the thing about behavior is it's, it's not just anything we do voluntarily. It's also involuntary. So we can talk about things like, like blinking. Like, why do we blink? Why do we yawn? Why, why is it that when someone says something, we react without thinking? Our, fa our face gives it away on us. Our ears turn red when we lie. We look down and to the left, okay? I look down and to the right. Whoops. Okay. Now, so theoretically, psychology is the scientific study of thinking and anything an organism does. Now, when you process all that, that means we can study anything called psychology. As long as a person or an animal or a thingy or a bacteria is doing it, we can say psychology. Now we're not going to study anatomy oh, we'll go a little bit. All right. But we're talking more about like what they do. And it's a science because it seeks proof in a scientific way. All right. I don't just like, you know, do one quick thing. Hey, how do you feel about that? Oh, everybody hates ice cream. All right. Good. Vanilla. Yeah. No, is yeah, but you know, there you go. And we'll talk a little bit more next time about why it's a science and how it seeks proof and how it goes about going from hypothesis. I like educated guests. I know some of your science teachers will hate on me for that one. That's okay. It's easy to remember. You remember it. How do we get from hypothesis to theory to maybe the next theory? Okay. And do it in a way that can be repeated that can be proven and that's reputable. Okay. All right. That's it for today. Use the rest of the time to work on the assignment. If you have any questions, I am right. I'm in the computer. Just, just message me. I'm right. I'm right there. I'm there on your computer. I'm right there. Okay. So if you send me a message, I will get it and I will help you out. Have a great day, my friends. Stay dry. Stay classy.